Today I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to make text slide slightly back and forth in two different directions like this. That whole slip slide effect that gives you a lot more visual interest than just regular scrolling text. And it doesn't have to be scrolling down. In fact, it's not scrolling down. It's staying in the same position on the screen while my browser background scrolls. Uh, but you can imagine there are a lot of different ways to use this effect. But I want to show you guys just how easy it is to do in Adobe Muse CC with the new parallax scrolling features. So I'm going to close my preview here. And what I've got basically, I've got this long page that has a regular old browser fill and I've got some text written out in two separate text boxes it's important that they are in two separate text boxes now if I go and preview this as is the text just kinda scrolls like normal just like you'd expect it and the first thing I want to do is make sure that the text doesn't scroll I want it to stick in the same spot vertically at least so it comes with me as I scroll down so I'm gonna select both text boxes holding the shift key to do so I'm gonna go to effects and I'm going to enable scroll motion and I want these to move but stay where they are in a way uh, relative to the top of the browser I want them to stay put relative to the top of the browser I want them to be at a key position of zero to accomplish that and I want zeros all the way down because I don't want anything to move just yet and I definitely want the motion before and after key to be locked because I want the speed to stay the same. I don't want any speed changes. So now that I have that set, if I go and preview this as I scroll down, great, it comes with me, but we're missing that movement side to side. And that movement's gonna be really subtle. To do that, I want them to go in opposite directions, so I'm gonna select one text box at a time. I'm gonna start with my top line of text, go back to effects, and I wanna set the horizontal movement to go to the right, and I'm gonna do this at 0.05 I want this to be really slow and I want it to happen at the same time you know what let's let's be dangerous let's go 0.06 and let's stick with that and select the bottom box this one I'm gonna do a little switcheroo I'm gonna have it scroll to the left go the opposite direction and this one I'm gonna have go at 0.05 nice and slow just barely faster than stopped barely faster than not moving it's gonna be a very subtle movement now I'll go and preview this again Let's see what we got there we go that's it by the time it gets to the bottom it's slid over we go from being left justified to being very close to right justified and that is the effect you don't have to do this with a background you can do it without a background lots of different ways to implement this show me what you guys have done send me a link in the comments and don't forget to subscribe because I got more coming at you soon.